Hey, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to farm the Cowson. Make sure to check out my other Borderlands guides if you want to know how to farm a particular gun. I will probably have done it. If I haven't, make sure to drop me a comment and I will look into doing that one next. Okay, so now time to get on with the gun overview. Firstly, this gun can drop with either no element, fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, or radiation. So I believe that's all the elements, if I'm not mistaken. As for the firing, it will shoot sticky bullets that explode after a short time and deal splash damage of the element that the gun actually is. It also has two firing modes, one of these being full auto, as standard with most SMGs, and it also comes with a four round burst, which is pretty interesting. If you want your shots to be a little more accurate, I would definitely recommend turning that on. Okay, so now onto the actual farming. It can be dropped by both Captain Tron at Mayhem level 6, and this has a drop rate of 16.5, or alternatively, it has a much higher drop rate from the Arbalist of Discipline's True Trial. Just a quick side note, to activate Mayhem mode or have access to the Proving Grounds, you need to have completed the main story at least once. Most of the time this weapon will be dropped in its non-elemental form, and the likelihood this will drop is 59%, whereas its elemental counterparts only have an 8.2% chance of dropping. In this video, I'm going to show you how to farm it from Captain Tron. So firstly, you'll want to go and fast travel to Athena's, make sure you set your mayhem mode to level 6, and then you just want to follow the route I take in the video. So I will catch you when we're there. I would personally recommend bringing a shotgun to this fight because you're really going to want to go and stagger him. What you'll do is you'll wait for him to do some kind of charge attack and you'll take that opportunity to slide around the back of him. My favourite move to do this with is the ice charge shot since it takes so long to charge up and you can avoid it pretty easily. I just wait for him to do that move, I go around the back of him and hit him on his little power core thing that he has on his back. If you hit him in the right place, this will cause him to stumble, and then you just want to do as much DPS as you can. After a long, long farming session, you should finally get it. And I mean long farming session. <laughs> 